Welcome to the STARS program, seniors taking active roles in society. And now, here's your host, Anita Finley. Well, I'd like to welcome one of our new clients on our radio show. It's very exciting for us, John Panaccio, and he is a financial guru. And we're very excited that he's going to be doing this every seven at 7.30 a.m. on Saturday mornings with us. So I'm so happy to have you, John. I know that you're going to tell our listeners a lot of good things, how to have their money in a safe place. Good morning. Good morning. And it's not under their mattress either, is it? <laughs> no, uh, that's, uh, that's the old-fashioned way. <laughs> yeah, well, but you, you're you not an old-fashioned guy, but you're a guy that I really like the way you talk about safety. And, and a lot of people now with the stock market doing what it's doing, they forgot about safety. Maybe you ought to tell people a couple of things that you know. Well, you know, uh, memory is short. Uh, back in 2000, we had a tremendous drop in the market. Uh, just about 16 months worth of drop, and it took several years to come back. And then 2008, it happened again, and we're at an all-time high. Matter of fact, this bull market has been the longest in history. And uh, once again, we broke records again today, so we're at an all-time high. And people forget that that this may, you know, may not continue on, and the last one was close to a 50% drop in the market, and it took several years to recover. Uh, and I, and I remember the last time that people were, some of the clients that I talked to was getting ready to retire, and they couldn't because after the big drop, they had to continue to work because they lost, from their 401Ks, they lost 40 to 50% what was in there. And uh, so it, it's a big concern if you're already retired or you're getting ready to retire. You see the sequence of return. What, you, what happens to the market when you start needing income could have a huge impact. Uh, and that's huge. why I think your seminars are brilliant, and it's really important for people to understand. And remember, this is Pencil Talk Radio, so get your pencils and paper out. Write these dates down. We expect to see you because I will be there on August 17th, but you can go August 15th and August 17th at 11 o'clock to hear, to hear John, and we're going to tell you more about it, but just for the moment, at 11 o'clock, I'd like to see you there at August 15th or August 17th so that you can become really smart. What are your seminars like? Well, you know, we, ha- we have a meal, of course. And uh, it's always good to enjoy a good meal after, after you hear what I consider a good workshop. But we really talk about a few different things. We talk about uh, the dangers of when you're getting ready to retire or you're retired, things you got to worry about. We talk about some tax, tax implications. It's not just about making money. It's making it and keeping it. And it's about making sure that you can pay legally the least amount of taxes uh, that you're allowed to. Uh, Our whole philosophy is, as Safety First Financial, is take safety first. So we're looking at people really locking in their gains. And every year when they have a good year, locking in those gains. On top of that, if you go back to when I first got in the business 33 years ago, it's hard to believe, but life expectancy was around 73 Hard to believe you were in this 33 years ago. It's uh, I, I, <laughs> I started when I was 10. Right, so. <laughs> of course. But, uh, you know, life expectancy was only around 73. So I sat down with a 70-year-old. We, we didn't necessarily plan out 20 years. Today, it's much different. I sit down with someone 65, 70, 75. Even a 75-year-old, we're planning 20 years out. They have to worry about inflation. They have to worry about maybe another two, three, four downturns in the market. They have to make sure they're, they don't outlive their money. I, I like the name of your company, and I, I didn't say it at the beginning, but Safety First Financial. Safety First. A lot of people don't think about that, but I know you do. Well, everything we deal with is about safety and guarantees. And no matter what what position you're on, everybody should have a portion of their money with no risk. And unfortunately, a lot of the places where you can put your money with no risk today is paying very little to nothing. But there is some good alternatives that you can put your money to have no risk and get very good returns and very good guarantees also. And you can do that. Yes. The products we use are insured, and uh, uh, they give you the highs of the market, and they lock them in. And today they even go with some indexes that there's no caps. They they give you the full gain. And uh, if the market retreats, if we have a, a bear market, those highest points that were locked in does not go down. They stay locked in. 
So people can call. You don't have to wait to go to the seminar. You can go to the seminar also. But let me give you a phone number that you can call John, and it's 954-564-0052. And I'm going to repeat that number. Remember, Pencil Talk Radio, Get them, write this down. It's 954 564 0052 and set up an appointment. There's no charge for an appointment. Is that right? That's right. There's no charge whatsoever. And as a matter of fact, when you call in, if you would hit extension three, you're going to get my partner, which is Derek, and he could help uh, answer any questions you have, but also set up the appointment for us. Uh, there's one thing we do when you uh, during the appointment is we, we have a program that really shows, you know, the way you're positioned if your money will survive you. In other words, it really shows – with inflation and everything else, how long your money will last and if you should make some adjustments. And we don't charge anything to do the program on, do that that program for you. And you go home with it and it means a lot. So, you know, if you want uh, want us to do the program, but just see if you have enough income throughout your lifetime. And uh, I'll give you one example. So you have a spouse and you have, you know, the spouse has a nice pension. And in a lot of cases, the spouse choose a non-survivorship pension which means that at their death, the pension doesn't continue on. And we know that you lose one of those two Social Security checks, the smaller one. I've seen people that they're making their retirement income, forget about their investments, but their retirement income is fifty, sixty thousand 60000 a year. But for instance, if one of the spouses die, they lose 70% of that income. And shockingly enough, in a lot of cases, I've seen it where the income has gone down at the death of the spouse, but the tax rates have gone up. Because you go from filing jointly to single, it's a whole different, whole different game. Then, so you know, we look at those things. We look at how their income works. They live long time with their spouse. Or what happens if one, you know, dies? So that that type of thing is important to to really have some kind of plan in place. It's funny. I'm not that smart in financial planning because I wish I had known you before. Uh, because no one told me we didn't see at that time we didn't have to take Social Security. My husband was working and. And I was working, and we did. And it was a mistake because if we waited till we were 70, we could have made more money, right? Oh, no, I, absolutely. If you hold off the so – every year you hold off, uh, it, your benefit grows by 8%. Where were you when I needed you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to make that mistake again. It's very important to find someone that you can trust and that knows a lot of things. And, and I know we've talked – I've talked a lot with John, and, and he feels like – what he would do for his clients, he's going to do for his family. I mean, that's a very important. People always say to a doctor, well, if if uh, I were your wife, what would you say? Well, now that's what they're going to have to say to you. So, okay, if I were your your mother, what would you give me, right? Uh, and, I, and it's funny you said that because a lot of clients, I'll show them that myself along with my family does business with me. And, and the same products that I'm recommending for them, if it's a fit, if it's a fit for you, it's the same products that I'm using for family members, of course. So it's I just don't say it. I also I live it. Good. A lot of, since I met you, I've been listening to a lot of financial shows just to get a feeling for it. And boy, they promise the moon, and I think it's terrible. Well, it, you know, I know it's a sore subject with you, but well, I had no, to bring it up. No, you know, there's a lot of what I call smoke and mirrors out there. You know, you got a seven percent guarantee. What's guaranteed? You know, what's that seven percent? A lot of the index annuities and variable annuities will say we have a seven percent guarantee. Well, it's guaranteed in this income account, which they're all work different. And an income account is like a, like a second account that in some terms I call it monopoly money because it isn't necessarily real. So you need to know, if you, especially if you own an annuity of some type, there's really, really good ones and there's really, really bad ones. And there's certain things that you know, as, uh, the coming weeks will go over the differences between the different annuities out there, but you really need to know which type you have. Yeah, that's right. Because that I hear a lot about that, the index annuity and then other kinds of annuities. But I'm glad that you're going to talk about all that. I was looking at what some of the subjects, though, that you're going to be covering. Just if, uh, what if there is another market downturn? I mean, so are you going to position people so, okay, it will hurt some, but it's not going to make them uh, go from, as you said, with the other, from 60000 to 30000 Actually, uh, if, they, if we end up finding something... Uh, yeah. Some of their investment that makes sense will lock in the gains and will be in something that if the market drops, they'll lose nothing. But if the market goes up, they a lot of these products now give you 100% of the gain of an index. Okay, So you'll get 100% of that gain. It will lock in. 
So, for instance, if just hypothetically you're at 100,000 and it grows by 8%, you're at 108, it locks in. If next year that index drops by 20%, you're still at 108. You don't drop that. Those are the type. When you, when you experience these type of products and you're retired, you kind of don't want to go the other way anymore. No, and why don't more people do this? Is it because they're being sold something different or or people are frightening them or they don't even tell people about it? They don't Maybe the brokers don't make as much money. Is that, I mean, I don't want to be negative, but there must be a reason. Well, if you, I'll tell you the truth. It's complicated, and, and the products are complicated. Not all of them work the same, and not all of them are as good. And, and, you know, even a lot of the brokers hasn't seen a bear market. You know, they've been in the business six, seven years. They haven't seen it. They haven't experienced it. I, you know, I remember the last one when the wirehouses, we call them wirehouses, okay? The wirehouses laid off 60 to 70% of the brokers when the, when the market dropped like that. And, uh, and a lot of brokers haven't experienced it. Yeah, there's something that's upcoming that, that people don't realize. And we have, in this country, we have a demographics problem. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. This is going to impact everyone. The baby boomers have started to retire. And matter of fact, next year, the first set of them will start turning 70 and a half, will start being required to take minimum distribution out of their IRA. Now, let me tell you what happens when the baby boomers retire. This is a 10 to 12-year effect. So they're going to retire. They're going to stop funding their 401k, and they're going to start moving it to something less risky out of the market. They're going to stop, because they're no longer working, stop paying into Social Security. They're going to start collecting Social Security. They're going to stop paying into Medicare. They're going to start collecting into Medicare. So when you hear when these last debates and all presidential debates that Social Security and Medicare, you know, the real problems, it's, it's going to become a very problematic thing because so many people are going to be stop paying into it and going on on Social Security. And when you turn 70 and a half and you have to start taking a minimum amount, RMD, minimum distribution out of your IRA, you're now forced to pull money out of the market. The government wants taxes. All this is going to make things tough in the future to both tax-wise, you know, somebody, you know, the big items on our national budget are things that's real hard to cut. Social Security, Medicare, things like that sort, interest on the debt. The other problem is when you're not funding your 401ks because you're retiring and you start being forced to take money out, it's just going to be a little bit more of a, it's going to be a different time we're in. You have to look at things differently. And the fact that that so many people are going to be living to their mid-90s. You can't no longer think, I'm retired, I've got to think about the next 10 years. you got to think about the next 25 years. So these are the things that we talk about, we discuss, to make sure that if something does bad happen, you're positioned well for it, including home health care, nursing home, assisted living. You know, at $100,000 a year, it doesn't take much to, to really damage your whole retirement plan. Wow, that's wonderful. And so when you sit with someone, uh, you go over every single asset they have and uh, and you recommend certain things, even as you were talking about the long-term health care or other kinds of things, so that they can live comfortably, if it's possible, with the assets they still have uh, until they are 95. No, no, absolutely. And we look at, you know, I'll give you an example. Knowing where to pull money from if you need not only income, but if you need emergency money, making sure you're not pulling it from something that gives a real bad tax implication. And let me give you an example of what I mean. I had a, I had a wonderful lady that was a client of mine, her and her husband, and their only income was Social Security outside of their investments. But they weren't making enough money where their Social Security was even being taxed. They weren't up to that threshold. And they decided they wanted to buy a new car, a new Cadillac. and They haven't splurged in many years, so they didn't contact me. And they took $50,000 out of their IRA. Let me tell you what it did, okay, because they came to me after they got the bill. You know, a lot of people don't realize this, but Medicare Part B is means tested, which means the more income you make, the higher the premium, which just simply comes out of your Social Security check. Theirs went up pretty substantial. On top of that, by taking that money out of their IRA, it triggered their Social Security to be taxed. So the total impact on them between their Social Security now being taxed and the income tax on the money that took out Social Security was about $12,000 in taxes. All of a sudden, they had to take more money out to cover that. It was a ripple effect, whereas they could have done some different things. They did have some money sitting in cash where they could have pulled it out of the bank account, paid no taxes, and replenished it every year. So, Or they could have done a, you know, 
They could have done it on time or something. They could have. They could have gotten a loan and taken right. ten thousand a year out right. of their IRA. There's so many things. That, so we we look at to how, you know if if taxes right now aren't very high on you, maybe take money out of your IRA now instead of later. If you're going to have tax implications later, if you're in a high tax bracket now because you're still working and it's going to go down later, we look at many facets because it's not only what you make; it's what you got to keep. Wow, so that was a shocking thing for them, and they learned, I'm sure, anything else they're going to do now, boy, they're going to Give me talk to you. And so it sounds to me like you're their all-round financial advisor. Well, within, within, within the no-risk no risk spectrum, you know, I, I, when I sit down with somebody, you're going to find out that the products we, that we use do really well in good times. And in bad times, they don't lose any money. But more than anything, they have some very, very important guarantees. Some guarantees to make sure that you have income for the rest of yours and your spouse's life. Even if through time you've lived so long that that account goes to zero, hmm. the income continues on. That's the insurance component of it. And so what, what if someone, of course, if someone has a million dollars, we'll know what you, you know what you can do. What if someone has like $100,000? Can you still help them? I can help them. Absolutely. Uh, everybody has, you know, different situations. I've had people sit down with me and their retirement income is a hundred thousand dollars a year and they live on every dollar of it. They didn't have that much assets. And I had people that have low income and lots of assets because they kept the money mostly in the bank and things of that sort. So every situation is different. And the first appointment we have, and, and I work, you know, I have a partner I work with Derek and, and we, we work separately, but we also work together. So that makes sure we don't miss anything. And we work together on putting cases together. And what we do is the first appointment is really about the person we're sitting down with. We're not talking anything about our products because we don't know if it's a fit yet. We talk about what their goals are, what they're trying to accomplish, what they have. And does it match up what they have with what they're hoping to have and where the holes are and if there are holes. And if we feel like we can benefit them, we'll tell them on that first appointment. I always use this staying at the seminar. Leave your checkbook at home. We're not doing business on the first appointment. We're strictly going to talk and make sure that we can help you. Then the second and third and fourth appointment, we're then going through what the suggestions are and making sure that the client fully understands it and lets them ask all the questions they may have. Okay, it's a good point. Let's go ahead and talk about your seminars again. And remember, this is Safety First Financial. It's a great name. It's August 15th, and that is a Tuesday and August 17th is a Thursday. It's at 11 o'clock. You're going to go to the Bonefish Grill, which this particular one is in Fort Lauderdale. It's the Promenade Bay Colony. And you're going to have a nice um, a nice lecture. Let's just call it a lecture or, or discussion. Uh, and I have to assume that, John, uh, you're going to do this. Yep, I'll be doing you, the presentation. You're doing the presentation. And seating is limited. So let me just say this. Don't come rushing in there, and then there's no, there's no place for you to sit and be upset. So seating's limited. I'm going to give you the way that you can reserve. It would be, just remember, Pencil Talk Radio, 877-620-3556. But the, mention the code BOOM, B-O-O-M, for first-time safety, first attendees only. So if you've known John... Uh, John Panaccio, uh, and you've done this before. Why don't you just save the seat for somebody else who hasn't heard this, and you can go just sit with him uh, and his associate uh, and not have to go through this because you'll probably, you know, it's not fair for you to do it. So let's just get new people who've never met John Panaccio, have never been to Safety First Financial Seminar. And remember, it's Tuesday, August the 15th, and Thursday, August the 17th. At 11 o'clock, and the phone number again is 877-620-3556. Mention the code BOOM. Now, I know you've been doing these quite a, you know, quite a long time. And tell me the kind of people who come. Oh, is that a big one? Well, they're all kinds. Are now, they mostly women, mostly men, couples? What, what you have is you'll have couples, and then you'll have individual men and women, you know, single people. Uh, the it might average, be a social club. Who knows? Uh, well, you have <laughs> you have people that wave at each other. So they've been to a few <laughs> seminars right. before. Uh, the ages run from usually fifty five to to seventy five or eighty. That's and I would say the average age in there is you know sixty five to seventy five. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
I ask people to arrive 15 minutes early because they're going to take your food order. Okay. And then after the seminar is done and you're eating, I'm available for any one-on-one questions and things like that. But yeah, no, it's, it's a, it's, it's generally people that are either just getting ready to retire or retired already. And they're just concerned. They're, you know, things seem a little different out there right now. Wow, we're at all time high, but there's a lot of crazy stuff going on out there around the world. And, and they realize that, Perhaps it's, if they haven't already done it, it's time to really make sure that they've locked in some of these gains and get to something safe. And not only that, you know, there's a lot of tricky investments out there. And specifically, something we really, really, really specialize and have for years is annuities. And they're not all built the same. You know, a Ford Pinto was not the same as a Rolls Royce. And, uh, and I'm going to tell you, this sounds crazy. But the differences between some of the different annuities out there are that vast. Amazing. It, it, the tremendous difference. And you need to know which one you have. If you have one of the, the good ones, and let me tell you, some, some of them sound really good and they're not really good. So if you own an annuity, it's a, it's a seminar that will touch really heavily on annuities. It will educate you on annuities. You know, I'm thinking as you're talking that this is almost like you're a second opinion diagnostician. And I'll tell you why, because I deal with a lot of doctors and some of them are really great, but some are really, they really know what to look for. And it sounds to me that someone, just because you already settled with some sort of a financial advisor, doesn't mean you can't come and find out, right, what they're in. You may find that what they've been in is not right. You know, it's funny you you said that. You don't want to find out that Perhaps what you're in is not what you thought it was when it's too late. You want to find out when things seem okay. And, uh, you know, where you said there's everybody sell products out there. They represent products. But I always like to use this story. There's a lot of orthopedic surgeons out there, right? Well, why does the NFL choose just a few? So I'm not saying, I'm not at all saying I'm the best in the world out there. But get a second opinion and, and, See if you're comfortable with that person and see if they're telling you something different. Now, I don't just, I'm not the type of person they'll say, this is what's wrong with what you're doing. We're going to call and make some phone calls and let you hear it from who you have it with. If you've got an annuity with an insurance company, we're going to call the company on the phone, on a speakerphone, and I'm going to ask the questions you don't know what to ask. And you get to hear it yourself. The reason why I'm speaking so much on annuities is there's a lot of them out here. Okay, there's a lot being Why don't you explain to somebody, if we have time, what is an annuity? Okay, an annuity is a product that's with an insurance company, and there's multiple different types. So I'll give you an example. A fixed annuity, think of a bank CD. It could be a five-year annuity earning 3%, but instead of with a bank, it's with an insurance company. Okay? A variable annuity is with an insurance company, but it is has sub-accounts, which are nothing more than mutual funds within an annuity wrapper which means there's risk. There's generally very high fees with them. A fixed index annuity is the type that when the market goes up at the end of the year, the index goes up, it locks in. And there's good ones that that really can make 8, 10, 12% in a year, but there's ones that cap out at 3, 4% a year, which means that if the S&P 500, for instance, goes up 18% in one year, you may only get a maximum of 3%. And that's the difference between the good ones and the bad ones. So, Annuities are with insurance companies, and uh, there's multiple types. There's the types that I like have tremendous guarantees. Where let's, there's been runs in the market where the market hardly did anything over 20 years. So if you're pulling five six percent out of your your retirement assets, and the market stays stagnant for 20 years, what happens to your money? It's going down. It's gone. Yep. Gone. You know, uh, I like to quote Mr. Wonderful. Oh, on the Shark Tank? Shark yeah, Tank he's, saying, he's you're, great. that happens, you're going straight to zero, okay? <laughs> so it would be nice to know that if that does happen, if you you got a couple hundred thousand in the account and you're taking 12000 a year out and it's guaranteed that even if you live so long that you emptied out that account at 12000 a year, that 12000 a year continues on. That's amazing when you say that, uh, that there is such a thing. So why would anyone go into one of the inferior annuities? Because they don't, they know. don't know. Yeah. Do a lot but, of these people do it on their own, or do they always have to go to a? No, no there's always 
a representative. They're, they never buy them on their own. And, you know, I don't want to get into why the representative sold them what they sold them. But in most cases, the, the client really didn't know these things or don't know what they have. So a lot of time we spend just educating people on what they already have. And people say, why would you do that for free? Well, it, it, what goes around comes around. I get referrals and things of that sort. So we'll do a lot of stuff that, you know, we do. We don't get the business, but we help the people out anyways. Yeah, you know, you impressed me when I first met you that you said right away, I'm not interested in doing so much hard sales. I want to educate people. How did this all come about? When did you become an educator? Because I know you've been in the financial business for a long time. Well, it's funny. Okay, it's funny you ask that because after my first three years in the business, I did not sell product. I owned a broker dealer and I trained reps. So for I've trained thousands of reps. About three and a half years ago, I uh, made a decision. I have a partner that works with me, and we, we made a decision. You know, this, the products have gotten so good that it really hurts to sit and train reps how to do it, but you're sitting on the sideline and not helping people out. So about three years ago, three and a half years, we started doing seminars, and we started to work one-on-one with clients. I still have some reps, but not like I have in the past. This is, and this has been much more fun because – We've been able to change people's lives. And, and, and so many people appreciate it when you help them out like that. And not to be negative, but a lot more than the reps appreciated it. So, so that's the reason. So for, for, for so many years, I was the trainer. And I just enjoy what I'm doing. So people say, how long are you going to work for? I'm 54. I'm going to work till I'm 75 At or least. older because oh, I young. enjoy it. That's right. I can see that. You don't, you know, you're a young kid, actually. That's, that's a very special thing because people – they, you know, the biggest thing, and we'll talk about this in some of our other shows, trust, especially an older adult. They want to trust the person. And I think that everyone who hears you and meets you are going to feel that way. So let me just uh, welcome you. Uh, Safety First Financial, John Panaccio. We're going to have you on every Saturday morning from 730 to 8. And we are going to learn a lot, John. I appreciate it. Thank you. I've enjoyed today. Thank yeah. You. Well, we enjoyed having you. I'm sure a lot of people there are going to make that phone call.